just gonna start with some primer. I don't know, but a piece of my armor. I'll let it go a long way. It's gonna close your pores, fill some fine lines. I'm gonna make sure your foundation goes uneven. Make sure your eyes don't crease. So hello. Oh goodness, my allergies already bother me. <laughs> I'm gonna go through with our medium brow liner. Adriana. Hi, Angela. Hi, Cher. Got some hairs. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Enjoying your Friday? Yes, great thing when it's Friday. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Donna. Thank you, Alyssa. Awesome, Shelby. Yeah. Hope you guys are having a good day, too. Palette 5 today. Loving this new palette. There's like so many options of what you can do with it. So Adriana, that's definitely fun. You get a day off. Doing good, Casey. How's your day? Use a gel to keep my brows a little bit in place. Just go backwards and then forwards the way you would like to go. Yeah, definitely great when it's Friday. Okay, brows are done. Let's go through that five. Get one of my shader brushes. You know, I'm gonna use the angle brush today, and I'm gonna start with this vintage. It's like a orangish brown type color. Like I said, I'm just gonna use the angle brush. I put that right in the end. I kind of put this right on my brow bone. So it's almost like metallic-y stuff. That's what I love about these palette five. The way these colors are. Yeah, I love the brow jelly and the liner. I love the liner. Don't have to worry about my brows going nowhere. Hi, Susan. Awesome, Casey, yes. Awesome. Loving skincare. I'm like obsessed with the night cream. Like I love everything, but that's like my new favorite. Cause I use it as like hand cream too, and my hands are feeling amazing. Hi, Kaylin. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Shirley.
yeah, the mask is pretty, pretty awesome too. Skin feels amazing after. No, I do need to try the, the night cream on my feet, yes. No, I said I was going to, but I always forget. No, I should. But my feet are definitely not in great shape. They would need some good moisturizing. <laughs> okay, I think that's even enough for blending it out, obviously. In a second, I'm just gonna put my brush a little bit. These colors are easy to work with, though. These palettes are always the easiest. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the shader brush now. Awesome, Davina. Or Davita. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna go through with the Suspicious. See how this looks on my majority of my lid. And then I'm gonna leave the front open for the Vindictive. The, these are really funny names. <laughs> the, the goldish color. When I do it like this, I just get it on the one side. There's no reason to get on the other side because I like to use the flat side. If you're trying to go in the crease, this brush still works if you do the end. You can still go kind of go in the crease a little bit. But if you want to do for the lid, this is the best part to do it. Oh yeah, I was wondering how it worked. Yeah, my feet. Yeah, no, I'll definitely try to remember. Should feel the same type of thing. It's just so soft and luscious. And you can do as little or as much of these colors as you want to get more or less pigments, but I like I like my colors pretty pigmented, so I get a good amount on there. It's still not a crazy amount, because either way, it's naturally pretty pigmented. I'm just going to get a little bit of the brown, or not the brown, the red, right in the end, to regrow my crease and make sure it's all blended into the like brownish color. Oh, thank you, Caitlin. Yeah, that makes sense to detoxify your feet, too. That definitely makes sense. Oh, that's the wrong one. I got distracted. <laughs> Put it in the wrong color. Yeah, you can probably detoxify it practically anywhere. It's external use only, though. Don't people keep thinking, like, because you can put activated charcoal on your teeth. Although that's still not good, I've heard, for your teeth. It still, like, kind of deteriorates your teeth. Um, but I've heard activated charcoal in general is good for teeth whitening. Not the mask. Please don't put the mask on your teeth. It's for external use only. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure my brush is all cleaned off. And then I'm going to go through with this Vindictive, the gold. And I'm going to get a good amount and just put it right on the inside. a fun like fall. I feel like a turkey kind of. I gotta obviously finish blending. I kind of feel like a turkey. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit of the vintage, the red, and just put on my liner brush to bring that down here a little bit. Why not? Any questions right now? Before I got some in my eye. Blink it out. 
Okay, I'm just gonna make sure the shader brush is all cleaned up and just do light little motions to blend this up. The quiet. Anybody have plans for the weekend? Sounds like I was like, I just want you to know I try to save the most of my videos. I don't work with anybody. I answer all my own messages. So if you ever get messages from somebody else or friend requests, just know it has nothing to do with me. Um, like apologize ahead of time because there are people poaching my page and anything comment on they'll want to try to friend request you and kind of steal you and you can totally talk to whoever you want but that has nothing to do with me some people will even say like that they work you know I sent them to you and whatnot those are all lies just so you guys are aware so you can totally just block them if you want or talk to them totally your call Debate if I should do anything with a bra, not my brow. Should I take like, if I can get it out, like curious eye pigment or something, put it on my brow, give me some highlight. What should I do? I take a little bit more. I want this a little higher spread. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Day night tonight for you? That sounds fun. Friday night. Just relax too. My husband has off. Crazy enough, he's still sleeping. <laughs> I think he's very tired. So we went to sleep at like the same time and I've been up for a couple hours now. <laughs> Buddy. But it's good. So I'll probably just hang out with him. It's the middle of the night here though, so there's nothing, no big plans, because nothing's open. Oh, goodness, for the four brothers two weeks, yeah. A lot. Hey, Shayota. Anybody else? Think, uh, doing some curious? Work good? Just do a little bit. Should work good. Actually, I'll tap it just a little bit off. I'm just put it right under my brow. I'm gonna blend it in a second. I just like to get the other side first. Um, I got on at about 3 a.m. So a little bit after that. We're 13 hours ahead of Eastern time and 16 hours ahead of Pacific time, so. Other side of the world. Well, my husband's on nights right now, so it makes the most sense for my job to on top of that. So I stay on his schedule. He sleeps all day, stays up all night. And then for you guys, it works out perfect. Since the time zone is really different. Either that, I'm usually up by like 5 or 6 in the morning anyways. Kendall. Yeah, I'm up for the day. I go to sleep in the afternoon though. How many new people we got on here? Say hi if you're new. I love getting new people. Okay. 
It always looks different in that mirror or in that camera versus like my mirror. A lot of new people. Well, hi, Teresa, Freda. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Victoria. Awesome, Brienne. <laughs> Can't stop. Thank you. Awesome, Victoria. Hello, Joanne. I'm glad. Love new people. Okay. I think that's enough. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> Uh, so you black eyeliner? Yeah, let's do that. Makes the most sense. I want to do a little my waterline today. Where's my black? Thank you, Teresa. I'm just going to do it. Wait, is this black? Yeah. A little bit of black on the waterline. Awesome, Davida. Yes, I love new people. Yeah, if anybody's interested in joining too, where's my black pencil? The liquid. This black? Okay, so the black liquid. They're um, felt tips, so you do want to make sure to store them down so all the like liquid stays in the bottom and they don't dry out. And I always start out here and then come down and then I usually go over. That's just how I like to do my wings. And then I'll like extend my tip just a tiny bit depending on the day. Um. But if, yeah, if anybody's interested in doing it, it's $99, you get over $200 worth of makeup, no other fees, like literally not another penny you get to spend if you don't choose, no like auto ships, no inventory required, nothing like that, you can do as little or as much as you want, if you definitely want to work the business, I'd love to help you out too. So I got a pretty thick wing today, but it'll work. And if your wings don't have to turn out even perfect, just leave them be. Because when you try to keep making them even, that's when they like will end up getting like crazy big. That's what I find out at least. Try to make this one just a little thicker. Okay, that'll do. Hey, Antoinette. Hi, Crystal. Okay, mascara time. Of course. And there's like a lot on the top or whatever. I just, you know, just wipe it off. Easy enough. You start by getting 20% commission. And you do get paid three hours after any sale, which is awesome. You don't have to wait till the end of the week, end of the month, or whatever. But yeah, if you definitely want to start selling, I definitely I have my own team and training pages, so I'd love to help you out. And if you don't want to sell, there's no pressure from me. I'll still add you to my group so you can still have, you know, support and questions and and still know what's going on, you know, with new products or this or that, you know, all that kind of whatnot. Yes, yeah, so if anybody has any other questions, you can ask right now too, totally. Or um, message me at any point too. You can go uniquebeautybykayla.com. If you click join, it tells you everything. They don't hide anything, they show the whole compensation plan. They don't hide anything. Definitely not ever had a more fun job. The fibers are loose, so you just roll them back your hand to press them down. And also, I'm one of the few that do full tutorials. You do not have to do full tutorials to make it in this business. I just have fun with this. And I like talking with you guys and stuff. But you don't have to do this much. You can just do little foundation videos or just quick little things to kind of show people how the products work or whatnot. At home stuff you can do. You can do whatever. 
whatever way to work your business. Thank you, Anna. They're great fall colors. <laughs> I feel like a turkey though. Reminds me like Thanksgiving. These colors. But that just shows how versatile this palette five is. And I like to blink my mascara on too when I apply it. It kind of curls my lashes up a little bit. And if you want to make sure not to get it on your brow bone, keep your head, the more back you keep it, the better. If you put it forward, you're going to like touch your brow bone by accident. So just tilt your head back. And again, fibers are loose. Roll them back your hand. Just to press them down. I don't mean smear. I don't mean rub it off. I just mean press them in. It's just so you don't get too many fibers on your lashes. But if you get like a chunk or something somewhere, you can just peel it off with your nails. Be fine. But I always make sure to do plenty of gel before because I want to separate my lashes as best as I can before um, applying this. Stop comments, do I miss? <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Yes. Love the fall colors. Yeah, it looks like pumpkin spice. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, all fall related, which is awesome. Yeah, like this palette, like, is super versatile. Like, there's, like, so many options. Like, these are the three colors I used today. I've used silver with these two colors. I used just the silver in this before. I used just the silver in this before. There's, like, such variety. You can just do just these two colors if you want. I don't know. You can do these two colors. I have the purple in there. You can do whatever you want. Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. It's cool watching me. Fun, fun. Um, yeah, I mean, you can go on the website to see, like, how you've reached statuses and stuff, but that, that part doesn't really matter. Like, status in my eyes is just a thing. Like, of course, everybody wants to hit the top of the company. I cannot wait to hit the top of the company. Um, and I'm definitely happy where I'm at, but it's all just about, I don't know, expanding, expanding this business because... This is still such a new, you know how many people don't know what Unique is and don't know anything about Unique? That's what it is. I, I love these products and I love that they're naturally based. I love that they don't test on animals, all that kind of stuff. So for me, it's just expanding to as many people as I can and definitely make change in my family's future. I'm definitely super excited. My husband's military, so um, we're in Japan right now, as most of you guys know. It's nice to know that no matter where I'm at, no matter where we get stationed next, I'll always have a job. So that's what I'm thankful for and why I join and why I do the business. So I, of course, can't wait to hit the top of the company, but I don't care enough, like, right now. Like, that's not, like, the only reason I join. But, um, so you start as a white status presenter, and then you hit yellow. Yellow is the next step. And then you hit pink. And then you hit blue. And then when you start getting a good team, then you hit green. That's where I'm at right now. And then, um, orange. And then purple. And then black's the top of the company. So I don't really like, like some people like come on and introduce themselves and what status they're at. And like green is where I'm at and that's the top 1% of the company. Like there's not a lot of people that are green or above, but I don't, I don't say that in the beginning of my videos. I don't like to leave with that. That's not how I'm not, it's not about the status for me. If that makes sense. I want to just reach as many people and change as many people's lives too, because <laughs> I know that this is awesome what I do and that I can just work from home and I'd love to find stay at home moms, military wives. Any, any people that just want a little extra income, whatever it is, I'd like to reach and I'd like to help them. So that's, well, that's what I do. And I don't care to just, you know, come out and this is my status. And I know a lot of people like, like to lead with that and like to have that on their Facebook profile and all that kind of stuff. But well, that's not what it's about for me. <laughs> what did I miss? Um, I think a little over a hundred are on like my downline. And then of course, I got a lot of people like I'm like my sponsor, how I say it's more in my sponsor sponsor and all of that kind of stuff. Everybody has more and you're kind of on everybody's team at the same time. But when it comes to my downline, I think it's just over a hundred now. Hi 
Tanya. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Christina. Thank you, Rachel. Our pressed powder. That's my favorite foundation. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Um, by, you know, getting sales and getting team sales and everything like that. That's how you move up in the company. You can look at the whole compensation plan if you want. It's a little confusing. And I can explain it to you better if you um, join or whatever. But... I'm gonna do it through a foundation. So that's mascara. Definitely just completes the look. How do you apply the mascara? Because a lot of people don't put enough gel on. As you saw, I did lots of gel before. Then put the fibers. You definitely want to roll the fibers in the back of your hand. If you don't, you're gonna end up getting too much. Um, I'm <laughs> obsessed with the mascara. Like my lashes have never been this full or this long ever. Um, and then make sure to let them dry on first and then seal it in really good with the gel. Lots of Galen. First of all, I leave to you. Um, I got on at 3 a.m., so a little after that. At the end of the month, yes. Um, it depends on obviously what they sell. You don't make commission off of people joining. Like, so if you join just to buy the kit, just $99, I don't get a penny from that. Um, but as you start growing your business, yes, because you can't you can't make a living off of just your own sales That'd be you would never make a good living <laughs> uh, We're not allowed to make income claims. That's illegal. Um, you can um, I can be shut down or the company can be shut down for making um, income claims You have to make sure to let the fibers sit, and if you don't have time to wait for them to sit long enough, take a blow dryer, kind of close your eyes a little bit, so obviously you don't get it in your eyes, and curl your, use your blow dryer to curl your lashes up. That'll seal them on. Yes, more than one layer of the gel. It's very important. Separate your lashes. Like, I literally take my gel wand, I take my lashes and bring them this way. Then I take the middle, bring it up. Then I take the outside, bring it out. And that, I mean, is before you apply the gel, the, la the, the fibers. And then you go through with the fibers. And then you let the fibers sit. Five minutes minimum. Or use the blow dryer trick. And then go through with uh, the gel. And two to three layers, at least, of gel. I do quick layers, you saw. I do quick layers, but you have to do many layers. Hey, Leanne. Yes, letting it dry is the most important part. Just said at least five minutes or blow dryer. Blow dryer will make it seal on night like right away. Just kind of put on the cool setting your blow dryer and close your lashes and just blow dry them up. Like literally take the blow dryer and put it down here so the air blows up. It'll kind of curl your lashes a little bit too. Do you separate your lashes like I said at the beginning? And then you really have to. Are you taking the fibers? Because they're loose. You have to roll them in the back of your hand. It presses them in hard. And they don't come off as easily. So then you can touch your lashes and you don't get a crazy amount. Hey, Reva. Yes, a little over halfway through. Now I'm just explaining mascara. <laughs> Again. Thank you, Christy. Okay, so I'm just going to use a pad today. And um, the powder foundation has got a little... Um, cap that protects the, the pad from the oils in here so it doesn't go into your foundation because obviously you don't want that. I'm just going to get them on on. Of course I already have primer. Primer is a must. It's going to close your pores. Make sure your makeup goes on even. And by closing your pores, it's going to um, produce less oil throughout the day. So this is a full coverage powder foundation. I get makeup artists all the time, and I'm just going to say this now before I get off. All the time tell me I shouldn't put my foundation down. I never, ever would suggest you putting your foundation up. They say it's going to make your skin start sagging more. Okay, for skincare products, yes, you should be rolling your face up to keep your skin plump. 
but everybody, you probably can't see, obviously the baby hairs. Everybody has baby hairs on their face, unless you're about to shave them, which I don't feel like, I'm sorry, you're not gonna go up. If you go up, your baby hairs are gonna be showing so much more, like, you should be going down with your hairs. Lightly, don't be like, attacking your skin, um, but it's not gonna make your skin sag more, and you can of course do your makeup how you want, but I get makeup artists all the time telling me how to put my foundation on, and I do not agree. I don't think you should ever go up. Because that is going to just make all those baby hairs that I don't want to see. They're just tiny little baby hairs, but you're going to make them see if you if you don't go down. And I don't need that. But just do light little motions. You're not forcing your skin to sag. So I don't understand that. And just press it into pimple areas. I just keep pressing it in until I get the coverage I need. Yes, clean the wand once a week. That's a big tip to keep it from drying. Take your um, mascara wand and just rinse it under hot water. The gel, not the fibers. Please don't put the fibers under water. <laughs> uh, but the gel, rinse it under hot, hot water once a week. And then make sure to never pump your, your wand in, in in the tube. Like, when you want to get more product on it, kind of swirl it in here. If you pump the wand, that's going to dry it out as well. And you don't want to do that. Awesome, Sarah. That sucks. <laughs> Lovely kids, right? But yes, powder puff brush is awesome. You're just going to get a little bit more coverage with this. You can totally um, use a brush. I love to use a brush, too. Um, and then if I use a brush, I just end up tapping it into the areas that I need more coverage with the pad to make sure, make sure I got that all. Powder is definitely my favorite. I'm using Velour right now. So my connection makes up sucks. Well, I didn't figure out lip color. I'll figure that out. Yeah, exactly. Like, you should never, especially if you have younger skin, like, my skin didn't used to, I mean, I'm still relatively young, I'm 24, but when I was, like, younger, like, high school, I didn't have to worry about that. You have less baby hairs on your face, like, the younger you get, but the older you get, obviously, the more hairs you get. I'm not shaving my face. I mean, I know a lot of people do, and I respect you. I'm just too lazy. I barely want to shave my legs, okay? I'm not going to lie. I don't want to have to add a hundred, no, another thing to shave. <laughs> I'm way too lazy for that. Um, but, like, they say, like, and then they try to mention something. I get this all the time from like videos, and this is usually people after that just happen to see my videos randomly or whatnot. And I, I don't know, they're very, like I'm not a makeup artist, I don't claim to be, and you guys can do whatever you want, but I do know a lot of makeup artists still watch me on here, and I have makeup artist friends, so I know I'm not gonna go against the grid of my hair. And I know when it comes to skincare, yes, you should be pulling your face up. Sometimes I forget that, and that's not a big thing. But they say, you know, when you get facials, yes, they pull up your skin, but that's, Skincare is a whole different thing than putting your foundation on. That's two completely different things. <laughs> yes, it's just the same kind of as, because you think about it, you're supposed to clean your um, your brushes and everything once a week, but people don't think about cleaning their wand, and I didn't used to think about it too. Um, but yeah, cleaning your wand's definitely a good thing. That honestly goes for any mascara. Um... I have a decent memory. I'm a better at seeing like faces. So if I know somebody sent me a picture, that makes it easier for me to like remember. Um, I have no idea how many people message. A good amount, nothing like crazy. I don't know. Maybe to 20 to 40? Maybe more than that? It's hard to, it's hard to know exactly. Depends on the hour. <laughs> Yes, exactly, exactly. I just, I know a lot of people to do, and I know you can have flawless, like, skin even more with shaving your face. I'm just way too lazy for that, personally. Yes, the pressed powder, for me, stands up to anything. Um, yes, I definitely don't have to worry about that. If you have drier skin, um, I suggest using the BB cream with it, and still, it's not going to come off throughout the day. The BB cream is oil-free, so it's not going to, um, like, drip or anything throughout the day, but the pressed powder... I use this, I never have to worry about reapplying. I never have to, like, it gets really hot here in Japan. Like, the past couple months, it's obviously cooled down a little bit now. 
but like crazy hot like 100 humidity like really humid here like more humid than Florida because I got friends from Florida <laughs> she was like yeah it's hotter here <laughs> so yes it's awesome loaded lipstick might be good Let's see what everybody else says Ah, so Christy. Uh, yeah, that probably has to do with something on your end. I'm not really sure. Um, so this is loaded. Wait. No, there's one other color I like better than loaded. I feel like that would be better. Wait, what color is that? Uh -huh. Give me a second. I gotta figure out which color. I'm so bad at remembering the names. Which one is it? Maybe pretentious? Nope. Which one is it? There's one that's... Where's the dark one? Like, fortunate. That's what it is. Where is that? Give me a second. I am trying to find my thing. Where is fortunate? Oh, I think I found it. I got way too much makeup. Yeah. But fortunate might look good with this. Somebody said loaded. Which is this. I feel like fortunate might look better. Or I could do something lighter. Or I could do liner. I don't really know. What y'all think I should do? What else we got? I'm trying to think about the fallish colors. Do like pompous lip liner? Pompous or like fortunate? Um, I could do lip balm on. I literally never even touched this yet, but try this gloss. It's livid. It's brown. <laughs> Fortunate. Oh wait, let me um, let me do bronzer and blush. I forgot about that. That's what's gonna do well. Mostly fortunate. I'm gonna go through just a little bit of sunset bronzer. I'm just going to get my blusher brush to give just a slight contour. Oh, this is pretty. It's definitely different than I, I don't know, like, I guess. <laughs> A deep nude. I don't know if we have a deep nude. Well, maybe affluent? Mm, it's more like a pinkish nude. I feel like the closest we would have is affluent. I don't think we have a deep nude. Does anybody know? I don't feel like we do. Yeah, I think fortunate one. It seems like. Um, I do. Oh, I'm gonna do a little bronzer here. No, no, she said dark nude. Of course we have nudes, but they're not dark. They're light nudes. It's a dark nude. Practice, Crystal. I never used to do makeup, just practice. Um, blending is obviously key, using the right tools is very key. Um, if you get any like pigments or something from me, you can definitely tell me um, like what colors you wanna do where. I can do that look or whatever. And then kinda show you how to maybe blend it best. I'm still, I'm not a makeup artist though. I just, I know how to work with my eyes and and everything like that, but I know some tips and tricks at least. <laughs> Is there? I thought they were all dark colors, the new liquid lipsticks. They all seem very dark to me. <laughs> Can I taste the bomb on my hand, or you mean put them on? Okay, let me do my lips and then I'll go through the bomb bombs. Okay, where's my lipstick? Oh, I want to do a bronzer, a blusher. Oh my goodness. I'm getting so distracted. <laughs> I'm just going to go through it a little bit. It's seductive. 
just a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm just kind of do that a little bit in the front and then blend it into my contour. I'm gonna blend it in even more, but I just like giving it a little bit more color here. That's my like blusher. I never used to be blusher. I always thought that was like I don't know an old timey thing. <laughs> like like that was back in the day. Blush was cool, you know, or something like that. But I think blush and bronzer is always important. Like I feel like my face looks I don't know incomplete. I guess without one or both of them. You know what I want to do? Because I really like it. Is use Curious for my highlighter. I really like this. So I'm just going to get a little bit right here. Just, I'm just going to get on this brush. Because this is a beautiful highlighting color. Might have got a little too much on there. But it's cool. Who doesn't want to glow? I got a lot on there. But whatever. Can you see that glow? Pretty awesome. I got way too much down here, but it's okay. We're just gonna glow like crazy. It'll be fine. We are just gonna glue all over the place. You know, I love Curious for a good highlight. Good highlight is my brow there, but a little bit here. Beautiful. What did I miss? Liners, let's see. Where's our new liners? I don't feel like any of these are, are dark nude. Like if anything, um, pouty or old one might be, but it's almost like a pink. That one. Where's that? So these are two, three, four. These are our new lip liners. I don't feel like any of them is dark nude. This is a light nude and this is like a, like a mauve color, if that's a thing. I don't know. I don't even know what a deep nude would look like. I feel like nude's just light. I don't know. Thank you, Whitney. Is it going to hate if your husband or boyfriend leaves and never tells you they were going and they don't come back for a couple hours and you work on it? Um, yeah, I don't know that happened. I would, yeah, that would piss me off. Ooh, didn't mean to say that, but that would make me mad. <laughs> It will come out right if you just keep practicing, I promise. Yeah, touch on my hand after doing my lips, sorry. I was like, oh, it's pretty this, what color to my eyes? Palette 5, I got three colors from Palette 5, like the fall looking colors. Awesome, Taylor. Yes, all the makeup has so many uses, exactly. And I've totally put the pigments on my lips too. Like if you use a lipstick and then you can put a lighter pigment on the inside to give it some shimmer or to give it some ombre like type look. Totally done it before. Angelic is a good color. I do it for that all the time. Um, yeah. Everything has multiple uses. I've used blusher or bronzer on my eyes. Blusher or bronzer on my lips as well. There's so many. There's like unlimited uses. You can do whatever you want. Yes, exactly. Everybody's over the glow. <laughs> Hi, Tonya. What types of colors do you think would go best with brown eyeliner? Well, obviously, okay, so obviously browns. Blues look, look good with brown, I think. Um, you could totally do brown liner with that. You can do brown with a lot. Um, other ones. Fall colors like this. I should have done brown today. That would have looked good. Fall colors like this. Brown look good. I'm going to do my lipstick. I think a deep nude would be maybe like a bronzer. Because I do bronzer on the lip. That's like a deepish nude. Awesome, Kelsey. Yes, I know. I can't wait. Always to get my products. It should be soon though. Brit Brit is it Brittania? I, I don't know how to pronounce your name yet. I want to figure that out. <laughs> Brittania? Um, palette 5. The three like fall looking colors.
I'm just gonna, because I don't like too much, I'm just gonna blot it off a little bit. This is one of the dark colors I actually like, don't mind that much. Because I'm definitely not a dark lip person. I should just pull off my lips. There's like, I don't know, I'm going to use a concealer brush. Try to good dish a little bit. A little bold stick for me, but not bad. The thing I hate about dark colors is like my lips aren't exactly even, so like you can see the unevenness more. My lips are so dry. Kind of sucks. I'm like getting that everywhere. I'm trying to figure out. Let me get some of this. Oh, it's like Brittany. That makes it easy. <laughs> Hi, Callie. Thank you, Sarah. I'm just gonna get a little bit with the with the powder. She's spitting everywhere. I hate this because it's not getting where I want it to go. There we go. Is that even enough? My lips are just not even at all. Like one side goes up higher than the other, than the other side. I hate that. Thank you, Nicole. Don't be funny. Lips are just gonna make them look a little fuller. Thank you, Carly. Thank you, Crystal. Fortunate lipstick. Thank you, Krista. Hi Perla, thank you. Oh, these are fall colors. I don't know why I'm doing fall colors yet. It is still summer. I'm not ready for fall. Wait, that's only like in two days, isn't it? What is today's date? Oh my god, that, it's probably like fall here today. Oh no, that's so sad. I'm not ready for fall. Yeah, my lips are uneven. Like this side comes in more down, but then like it comes up higher in this part. I don't know. And they're definitely not center. They're a little bit off center here. Don't want to point that out specifically, but I hate. That's why I don't like dark lips for that reason because I hate that they're uneven. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Hi, Melissa. Yes, let's put her in fall. I'm not ready for fall. Thank you, Trina. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> Thank you, Carly. Yep. No. Yep. Eyeliner is. Never perfect. It's pretty decently even today. This one might be just a little bit thinner, but they're never even. Some days it's like really noticeable. Of course, it's trying to reconnect. Sometimes they're noticeably different, but sometimes they're fine. I've used a black spurge cream. I just don't use it often. Not a go-to. I don't like. I don't love dark colors at all. I like fun colors, if anything. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. It's the twenty-three. I don't think I don't know what that means. Oh, it's the 23rd of the month. No, I think that's the first day of fall then. No, that's so sad. I'm not ready for fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it is fall. I thought it was totally like the beginning of September still. I can't believe it's like nearing the end of September. This is really too sad. The leaves are changing color. I don't know. They, don't, they definitely haven't changed color here yet because it's been raining for the past like four days straight here. But before that, it was still like in the 80s here, so... It's not fall time here at least. It's just now rainy time. 
because there's no like no end in sight with this ring. Like every day. Every day. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Michelle. You hate summer? Where are you from though? I'm from the northeast, so we love summer. <laughs> Originally. <laughs> awesome, Becky, yes. <laughs> That's fun, Christy. Thank you. Yeah, that makes sense. Every year's different. I like fall. Fall's gorgeous. I love the leaves changing, but fall means it leads into winter, and I'm not ready for winter. That's I love fall. I love the changing leaves, and I love all that aspect. But yeah, I hate winter. I can't do it. You're from New York. How do you? That doesn't make sense. No. We're in New York. Because I'm from New York, too, and no. I need summer in my life. It was like, you know, a good three weeks of summer, and then it was over, you know. That's what I'm used to. <laughs> A tornado goodness okay so might as well I got nothing else to do right now let's go through bonbons yeah you're the right up in the area from outside of Rochester oh oh no I can't do winter I'm gonna move down south where I don't deal with winter no more fortunate lipstick oh no I hate the cold I hate the cold oh it should make me sick thinking about it <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start with, uh, so I'm going to do this out of the arm because that's going to be easiest to show. Red velvet cake. Obviously, it's hardest to see on the arm, and it always looks different on your arm versus your lips, especially based on your lip color because these are tinted, like, chapsticks basically is what they are. They're tinted lip colors, so it's going to look um, different based on your lips because it doesn't sound like lipstick that just covers your lips. It kind of is slightly see-through at the same time, so it'll be on your normal lip color too. And my arms are also paler than my lips. So that is raspberry cheesecake. So red velvet cake, then raspberry cheesecake, then cherry chocolate truffle. Yeah, that makes sense in Mississippi if you don't mind winter, but New York doesn't make sense. Okay, so that is chair, chocolate truffle. It's kind of an order of what I use the most. We'll do it that way. This is the order of how I use them. And then vanilla milkshake, which is, you're not gonna see anything really. It's got a very slight, like, shimmer kind of to it, basically is what it is. Look, I got a cat hair here. And then cherry cobbler, which I might have only used like once. Oh goodness, I almost put it on top of that. Cherry cobbler, almost like a light pinkish red. So, those are the colors. Hope you are still on. Where are you from, Nicole? Because I'm from upstate New York and it can snow, but you're not going to get a snow day. I can probably remember less than five snow days in 12 years of school. Okay? You don't get snow days. It snows two feet of snow and you go to, the, you go to school. Okay. Wipe it off. You go to school no matter what. So snow doesn't mean nothing. I got more snow days for being too cold than for sn the actual snow. I had to be under negative 40 for you to get off of school. And that's a wind chill, even. But it had to be below negative 40. You have Adam's hat? <laughs> that makes sense. But the winters are nice then, right? From Maryland? That makes sense, yeah. That type of area, Maryland, that kind of stuff. They're not used to a lot of snow, so you guys get more snow days, yeah. No, we don't get snow days. They have plenty of plows. They're plowing at three in the morning. They ain't, they ain't gonna let you have a snow day. <laughs> yeah, yep, never closes. Where'd you say it was from, Christy? Whereabouts? Yep, exactly, Idaho makes sense too. Did not have snow days. <laughs> Anywhere like the north, <laughs> and um, you know, we got lake effects from Lake Ontario, and you guys, you guys never deal with lake effects snow. That's the most unpredictable snow, like, ever. Any of the Great Lakes, just unpredictable. It can it be, be, they would say it's supposed to snow two feet, and then nothing comes, or all of a sudden you get snow outside before they even tell you it's supposed to snow. You never know. <laughs> Thank you, Angelina. Yep. Yeah, temperatures matter more. Um, cause I can't make you go to school if it's too freezing. I had a decent amount of, sometimes you have two hour delays for school, but that's the most they would give you. And if you got a snow day, 
it was like at like six or seven in the morning. Like right before you had to go on the bus to like, okay, I guess there's enough snow. Okay, we're gonna close the school, <laughs> you know? That sounds familiar. Is that like outside of um, Syracuse area? Sounds familiar. Yep, that makes sense, Nicole. <laughs> You're opening a Yuka, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, Oyanta, that sounds, that sounds really familiar, okay. Yeah, it's like just two, three hours, maybe probably two for um, west, no, east of where I'm from. Yeah, exactly, Vanessa, that sounds good. See, I wouldn't mind settling like the Carolinas or something, that sounds good, it's like, you know, it's not too hot. I can't come sprinting in, goodness, knocks open the door. <laughs> Um, the Carolina sounds good to me. You know, it's the mix. You get a little bit of cold-ish in the winter, but not not cold. Oh, that makes sense. Yep. I think I'm gonna get off. But yeah, no snow days. It sucks. So that's why. That's why I don't like snow. Yep. It was fun when I was a kid. You know, go sledding, play in the snow. But no, when you're an adult and you have to wipe off your car and. You have to drive in it and you have to walk in it. And there's no such thing as a day off of work either. Nope. Nothing closes. <laughs> awesome. Fourth of July birthday. That's fun. Yeah. I can't stand snow. But that's good. If you can stand snow, you stay in New York. I had to get, I had to leave there because I could not do that. <laughs> yes. I love, uh, there's a base in Charleston area and I would love to get down there. The summers might be a little warm, but I can deal with a couple weeks of warm versus like six months of cold. So, you know, pros versus cons. <laughs> I just go to the water, go get my tan on. I'm way too sick of being pale. I need my tan. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get off though. If you guys have any questions, you can always message me at any point. Oh my God, my cat is being crazy. It's getting into everything. How are you serving? Oh, serving military. My husband's military. He's Air Force. <laughs> We're in Japan. Oh, no, just him. Just him. <laughs> no, that's why, that's why we're in Japan. The military. So, yeah, so I wouldn't mind to get out there at some point. This guy is paying crazy. I'm going to get off. Deal with him. Um, but if you have any questions, definitely let me know. If you guys are interested in joining too, I'd love to work with you guys. Uh, definitely let me know if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. Thank you, Krista. Um, thanks for watching. Like and share this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.